G'day guys, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. Apologies, I didn't make a video last week. Um, anyway, here I am making one this week in my bus. And I want to talk about what's called shoulder power. And I've spoken of this in previous videos, especially the ones that I made about Bill G. But I just saw a fantastic video that uh, Sifu Mark Spence put up on his um, Facebook, it's on YouTube. And I'm going to link to that. Sorry, just had to shut the window because it's a little noisy. I'll, I'll put a link to that video of Sigong Chushong Tin demonstrating shoulder power and it's really a revelation. And what shoulder power really is, is utilizing an unsuspected joint. It's something that everyone uses without thinking about it. But in Wing Chun, because we start off so static in Sil Nam Dao and we're moving from the shoulder, it appears that the shoulder joint is, you know, this thing here. So if you read Sigong's book and you see shoulder power, you might, there's an order of powers and Shoulder power is the first thing after using Nimlik and I can't remember, but it's it's up there. It's like the, one of the first things you use. And so that's not what it is. It's this joint here where your clavicle, which in layman's terms is the um, collarbone, it comes and joins onto the top of the, the bone in the middle of your chest, which is called the sternum and that's actually a joint it moves and it your arm bones connect into that but this clavicle joins the sort of the front of the scapula which is called the shoulder blade and it's a triangular bone that runs down the back of your your shoulder at the back so those two are sort of like i always think of them like a v-dub suspension this is where the shoulder is on the end there and there's the this is the clavicle and this is the shoulder blade and they they move around like that so that the shoulder blade at the back is essentially floating but it's held together by all this um tensegrity by all these by muscle and sinews and fascia so yeah that's another story that that soft strength and flexibility and springiness but that's what shoulder power is it's it's the ability to move the shoulders and use that to create more force and it's essentially like when you throw a spear it's like a woomera where we call in australia the aboriginal people you know some certain language called a, a spear thrower a woomera where you it's just a so we're actually about um, yeah, that length and it's got a hook at the end and you attach it to the end of your spear. And I used to, I made myself one when I was a kid and it was just bloody amazing. Once you got used to using it, you could chuck a spear twice as far and with devastating power. So, you know, the hunters in the old days and even people in the ice age in Europe used them, similar concept. Um, so that's what happens when you can engage the shoulder in a relaxed, the proper Wing Chun way, you've got an extra joint. And it's a bit like the, um, the swords, they become like an extra, like you, your wrist, or, you know, your wrist becomes another joint that's powering this extra arm made of steel. Anyway, so in this video, uh, Sigong's showing a number of guys that are senior practitioners from the school I started out in, Sifu Jim Fung's Wing Chun Academy, which was also known as International Wing Chun Academy, still running. Uh, Sifu's sadly passed away, but we, we were probably rightly discouraged from moving the shoulders at all until we reached a good level of Chum Q. So of course, most people never really reach that, unfortunately. 
Um, but once you're set free into Bill G, you can start really expressing the human body, as Bruce Lee said. You can, you can really be this living, flexible, amazing thing. And there's no none of that Wing Chun stiffness you see in these videos of people being flogged by <laughs> dudes who are pretty much just boxers with a bit of a kick. Um, because they're only at a low level, they don't really know what Wing Chun's about, and they don't, they've never learned, they haven't been properly taught how to release this soft force and this live energy and be like a wild animal. That's my theory. Anyway, that'll do. Um, have a look at this video that's in the link in the description below.